Hi guys, let us look at question 7 from November 2022, Physical Sciences Paper 2. In this question, we'll be looking at acid and base. Please have your calculator with because we have a lot of calculations. Without any waste of time, let us get to the question. Now, question 7, acid and base, it says that ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, right, it's a weak acid that reacts with water according to the following balanced equation. There is our ethanoic acid, we have water here, we have the product that is formed, okay? The product that is formed. We should know that an acid, according to um, lowry brosted theory, is a proton donor. So meaning that this will gain a hydrogen from here, it will become H3O, this one would have lost the, what, the hydrogen that is that was given to the, to the water there. So I do have a what here, an acid, and then water is an ampholite. It can act as a base or a what, or an acid. But in this case, it is acting as a what, as a, as a base. Now 7.1.1, define an acid in terms of what, of lowry brosted theory. This one here, two marks that you need to get in the exam. We can say that an acid, according to lowry brosted an acid, an acid is a proton donor. An acid is a proton donor. It is a proton donor. An acid is a proton donor. It is a proton donor. That's how you get two marks in the exam. It's a proton donor, or you can say H plus here. Yeah. That represents proton donor. You get two marks for that in the exam. Let's go to 7.1. Point two, give a reason why ethanoic acid is classified as what? As a weak acid. So my advice to you, just define a weak acid because that is the reason why ethanoic acid is classified as what? As a weak acid. We know that weak acids, weak acids, weak acids, they ionize. They ionize incompletely Others will say partially, incompletely, in what? In water. That's how you answer 7.1.2. Weak acids ionizes incompletely. Others will use partially here, or you can say dissociate. You still get your, your mark there. All right, 7.1.3. We are tasked to write down the formula of the two bases in the equation above. All right, the two bases in the equation what above okay now if this was the reverse reaction remember this is a reversible reaction this becomes my what my acid this becomes my what my base so it's a conjugate base and a conjugate what acid so i have base as water and i have base as what as ch3coo so i can just take those two down there and therefore i get my max 7.1.3 so my first base is H2O, and I have what? CH3, because it's my conjugate base there. CH3, COO minus. I get two marks there for water, and for the CH3, COO minus. All right, let's get to 7.2. 7.2 here, a flask contains 300 cubic centimeter. 300 cubic centimeter of a dilute sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH in a gas solution, of a concentration which is 0, 0.167 mole per cubic decimeter. We are given what here? Our data, we are given the concentration, which is what? 0, 0.167, which is moles per cubic watt decimeter. All right. We are also given what? We are also given... The volume here, which is 300, but because it's cubic centimeter, we are going to divide this by what? By 1,000. And this one will give us 0, 0,3. 0, 0,3 dm3. And therefore, we are looking for the number of moles. So it is unknown there, the number of moles. It is unknown. We can therefore say n equal to cv. We are given our what? Our concentration, which is 0, 0,3. 0, 
And then our volume there, we're going to use 0 0,3. We just punch in our calculator, and therefore we get our answer there. Let us go to our calculator and punch that and get our answer. All right. So we can say 0 0,167, 0 0,167, we 167, we multiply that by 0 0,3. Okay, what do we then get there? We have 0 0,05. The number of moles is what? 0 0,05 moles. These were moles of what? Of NaOH. That's what we have there. So three marks, one for the formula, substitution, and the final answer. Let's go to the next question. In the next question, we are given a statement before we can calculate. It says that ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid of volume of 500 cubic centimeter of unknown concentration X, we don't know the concentration, concentration rather, is now added to this flask given to give a solution of 800 cubic centimeter. So we have five, now we move to what? To eight. It is found that the pH of the mixture is what is 11,4. We see something about what here? About a base, because we know that if it's 11,4, it must be a strong base. The balanced equation for the reaction is, we have a strong base here, we have a weak acid here, which will give us a what? A basic salt and what? And water. What are we supposed to do here for four marks? For four marks here, what are we supposed to do? 7.2.2, we are supposed to calculate the concentration of what? Of OH, which is of a base here in the what? In the mixture. All right, what do we then do now? We know that pH, right, plus POH will definitely give me what? 40. But what are we given here? We are given POH. We are given POH. We are given POH. In fact, let us look at this question again. It says calculate the, the concentration of what? Of the OH. All right. So we need to know that we are given the pH, not the POH. We are given the pH, which is what? Which is 11, comma what? 11, comma 4 plus the POH, which we don't know, which will be equal to what? 14. And therefore, if we take 11 to the other side, it will be POH. I will therefore go to my calculator here and just say 14 minus 11, 14 minus 11, comma what, comma 4. What do we get here? 11, comma 4, we have 2, comma 6. So I have 2, comma 6. But now, are we then asked to calculate the POH, no, we are looking for the concentration. Now our formula will say POH equals minus log, and therefore we are looking for the OH there, that's the concentration we are looking for. Do we know the POH? Yes, it's 2,6 equal to minus log, and therefore we have what? We have OH. Don't forget that the OH there has a what? Has a minus. The OH there has a minus. So meaning even this side, we can go and fix it here. We say a minus. We did fix it somewhere here. All right. Now, from here, we just go to our calculator. We are looking for the concentration. We just go to our calculator. If you are using a different calculator, you can say shift, or you can say second function. And therefore, you put what you put? Log. Second function, log. And therefore, you say we have 2,6, it will be minus 2,6. And then our answer there is 0, 0,02 or 0, 0,03. And therefore, we know that our OH, our OH, which is the concentration, our OH minus, we have seen that is 0, 0,003. That is our concentration there, which is mole per cubic what decimeter that's our concentration that's how you do six point i mean seven point two point two four four marks let us move on and see if we have another question here we for six marks now we should 
calculate the initial concentration x remember we're not told the concentration they were given x of what of ethanoic what acid where do we then start now if we are not given the what the concentration of what of ethanoic acid but we know the what the concentration of a base so we can start there we can say let us look at the number of moles of what of the base which is NaOH so number of moles of a base this will become we have NaOH just to show what we are looking for equal to what equal to CV okay what is my concentration now I've just calculated it as 0, 0, 0,00 what 0, 03 okay and therefore the volume that I have here I was given the volume as what as 800 cubic centimeter let's just go verify that there it is here 800 cubic watt cubic centimeter all right so we can divide that by a watt by a thousand and therefore it will give me 0 0,8 if we go to our calculator and punch the two and see what answer we are going to get there we will come and say that's what we have there we multiply by 0 0,8 okay we get 0 0,0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,002 so we have 0, 0, 0, 0,002 these are the moles of what moles of NaOH okay now remember that before we were given the moles of let us go verify something here yeah? we have calculated the moles the moles of the sodium hydroxide that we had before so we have 0, 0,05 so we can take the 0, 0,05 to find out what reacted to find out what reacted so we are looking for the number of moles number of moles of NaOH that reacted right so we can say reacted here equal to we had 0, 0,05 minus now 0, 0,002 so we want to find out what reacted there we go to our calculator we say 0, 0,05 in fact that's 0, we must say 0, 0,05 okay we minus by 0, 0,002 what do we then get there? We have 0, 0,048. So we have 0, 0,048. 0, 0,048. These are the moles now that reacted. All right. Now, if that is the moles that reacted, let us look at the ratio between NaOH and what? And ethanoic acid. It was NaOH plus ethanoic acid acid okay so the ratio here is one is to one so the same number of moles that reacted for the base it will be the same number of moles that will react for the acid so now i can come and say for the acid i know that n of what of the ch3 and then q here or cooh that reacted that reacted to be the same because of the ratio here Okay, it will also be 0, 0,04 4, what? 4, 8, which is what? Which is moles there. Okay, now we are looking for what? Remember, we are looking for the concentration. The concentration. So what we are going to do here is C equal to what? N over what? Over V. Alright, this concentration now is for the what? Is for the acid. Which acid again? CH3, COOH, the ethanoic acid. Do we know the number of moles there? 0, 0,048 over, remember the initial volume that was given there was 500. So we divide 500, we divide by what? By 1,000 because this was given as what? As cubic centimeter. And therefore, we are going to get, let us just verify that quickly. We are going to say 5. 100 divided by 1000 what do we then get there 
what do we then get here? 500 divided by 1,000. All right, we have 1 over 2, 0, 0,5. So that is 0, 0,5 there, 0, 0,5. What do we then get? The concentration, right, of what? Of CH3. In fact, this might confuse learners here. Let us just say the concentration of what equal to n over what over v but this is the same as we have this side so we can even remove it here and just come and say c somewhere here just come and say c here trying to remove this all right we are good to go we can go to our calculator now we say zero comma zero comma 0 0.48 we divide by 0 0.5 what do we then get there our answer is 0 0.096 0 0.096 0 0.096 which is more per what per cubic what decimeter moles per cubic decimeter that's what you're supposed to have here as your unit right so that's how we are supposed to get our concentration there you get six full marks in the exam for that let us see how we get those six marks is because we have calculated we're given the base you must move from what you know so you're given the base here you look for what for the concentration the number of moles of the base you move from what reactant the ratio was one is to one it will be the same number of moles that reacted for the acid and therefore you look forward for the concentration of the what of the acid and therefore you get your seven in fact six marks all right grade 12s that's how you would have answered question seven which is acid and base